Hey, what's up, guys? Trust me, man, here, and... Sorry about that, I had it backwards. Which is not always good, but it does its job. Wait, why is there a random potato chip right here? It's really awkward. Oh, I had a feeling, I, I just had a thought in my mind, just eat it, and just act weird on the camera, but that's just not me. You know, I don't do any weird stuff. No, I'm kidding. But... I know I'm a gaming channel, but I feel like this pertains to gaming, especially since I've had this problem for a very long time with this graphics card. And it, and I've read probably in my entire life, probably like 10 hours of just why my monitor won't turn on with the graphics card. And it's, I can't give you a single answer on how to always fix it, because it's multiple problems. It can be multiple, multiple problems of why it could not work. Um... To rattle a few would be, it could be your graphics card, motherboard, CPU, or power supply. Um, so it literally everything could just be wrong and why it's not working. So a few tips on how to, to get some information. You got to get information why it's not working. Um, when you turn your computer on, there's a few beeps. Listen to how many beeps there are and then what model you have. So like I have a Dell or if you have an HP. Now if you have a custom built PC then what you want to do is you want to take your motherboard and look it up and see what the beeps mean. It could, it could actually even be in the user manual of the motherboard if anybody keeps that. This would be the one time you'd want to have it. But back to the thing. Um, so when your computer doesn't turn on, I mean your monitor doesn't turn on, um, what I found to work for me personally, um, I'm going to go with the graphics card. The problem is most people are have problems with the graphics card not turning on. This is usually mainly the main problem. So it usually can come from either the motherboard not having enough power supply to turn it on. Or, I'm still waiting on my, new, on my power supply to upgrade my graphics card because I bought myself a GTS 6 690 and a 600, I can't use 600. Uh, I, need, I need more wattage. But until then, I'm waiting on it. Until then, I have this, stuck with this old one. That gives me problems. So what I have found to work out for me is um, I w remove the graphic card and for 30 seconds I just clean it. I just I just go out and clean it for 30 seconds and then I plug it back in. So I take everything off and then plug it back. That's actually for some reason worked for me. But that's not, that hasn't always happened. So other things that I've done is what you can do is remove the graphics card completely if you want to get access to a computer and pretty much use with a motherboard's Intel integrated graphics card or you can put another graphics card so basically you just like for me I have an HDMI to the motherboard which is back there if you can see it um, so I would remove the graphics card and put an HDMI and I would be able to get access that would that would mean if that doesn't work that would mean the motherboard itself is dead unless obviously your HDMI is broken or DVI for some other motherboards um, but that will usually be able to that will usually do the trick if your graphics card has the problem other thing could be is that the CPU could actually have problems in the integrated CPU uh, display thing, integrated graphics card of the CPU could actually be broken. I don't know how that can happen, but it's possible. So basically then what would you, a fix would be pretty much buy a graphics card that's cheap or use an old one, plug it in, see if, it, if that computer will, monitor will turn on. Um, obviously I'm not going to go over the simple things like make sure your cables are plugged in. Like, all right. Obviously, if you're searching this video, there obviously most the average person will be able to make sure that the cable is plugged in. Um, so those are some of the fixes I was able to come up with. Um, other one was um, keep the, like press your power power button for literally 30 seconds, and your computer can turn. But I I would suggest stay away from that because um, I'm just a that, that can cause problems with your system from so many times rebooting it. Rebu re rebu that sounds... Rebooting it. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> but that can cause some serious problems with your hard drive because it could actually corrupt it. And I don't think you want to lose your data. Uh, other people have suggested removing the battery, which is right there. Uh, yeah, right there. Oh, our boy. Um, I, I've done it a few times. I've had mild success. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this video is because I've had it so many times that I was just like, all right, how about if I, because most people do a video and just show like one thing on how to, they fixed it. But this is my overview of how to do everything with the system. Right now my computer is on because 
if I turn it off, I'll have to remove the graphics card. I just didn't feel like doing that. It would have taken me like 10 minutes to put it back together because I take my time. You know, that's what I do. But, uh, so the way I figured out that you could actually, you can actually, if, uh, if, you, if you keep having this problem where your monitor keeps turning off, I mean, uh, not powering on, and if you do get it on one time, what you can actually do, and I'll make a video about this if anybody in the comments says, go on, do it. I need, I need to see how you do it. I'll go on, do it. But you, what you can actually do, which I was so surprised that it actually works. So I turn on the computer. Uh, this one time when it worked in display, obviously it might, this problem happens. Some people, they can get on sometimes and sometimes not. So if you can do that, you can actually use Team Viewer. And what you do is, is um, you the one time it does turn on you go and download team viewer and you set up with another computer now if you don't have another computer, obviously, you can actually even use your phone for it um, if you it's a free thing if you use it for personal use business it costs like eight hundred dollars but for personal it's okay so what you do is you set up team viewer on another computer and, and this computer the one time it worked and you connect them and if it doesn't power on the next time what you do is you connect you turn it on and it actually will bypass the password uh, for some reason and if you grant its access it will bypass it and connect to your desktop and you can get, gain access to it even though the power button of the desktop is not working so you, but from what I saw was that when that happens is your GPU is not really using its full potential so what I mean by that is when I had the when I was in, with TeamViewer and I was connected, even though my monitor was not turning on and I was able to gain access to everything and go on my computer. And I tried, I was like, all right, let's see if I can run a game and maybe that will turn on the monitor. It actually did not. It was actually, so what, hap what personally I think happens is when the monitor doesn't turn on and it's the GPU's fault, it is because it's physically not put it, not actually powering on like majority of its use like because when i tried running games it just said my graphics card doesn't support it and i was like bro i was getting 300 fps in counter-strike and now you're not supporting it so that's what i think happens is just like, physically it's not working uh so that was the way i gained access but that i think that's if you can get because you I, you can you can type in your password blind um you can do that fairly easily uh you don't need that you just pretend that you know yeah you can just pretty much gain access to in it so then that you should be able to use team to log on and get gain access but that's that's just only if you already had your computer on that's 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 that kind of can work uh so that's actually I most people didn't i actually found that i didn't find that in uh, most forums about uh the computer uh what is it called the, the monitor not turning on i i didn't find that at all so I'll, t I'll pat myself on the back. No, I'm kidding. I'm, not. I'm sure somebody else did. But, guys, I hope I did find... I mean, I hope I did help you just a little bit on giving you some information. I, I physically just can't give you one thing. Like, there's a lot of videos out there that this is what works. I can't say that's this because every computer is different. And everything else just varies way too much. And... If you leave a comment section, I will gladly help. I will look and try and find you some help. Um, I'll try and direct you to a, a correct forum about your system and what problems you have. But if you do leave a comment, please leave like your system settings. Not settings. Uh, what you have in your uh, system rig. And then from that, tell me like what you think, what, what like problems you're getting. Because uh, obviously if you just list your system say up oh, doesn't work uh, that doesn't really give me like any extra hints on how to figure it out but this is just what worked for me uh, personally I was about to I was I was flipping out on this computer I really was this video is pretty long but I felt like I need I, I, I just felt like I needed to do it because I just feel like nobody has really done a um, a very thorough on why thorough con not conceptual but like guide on how to personally fix because everyone just says I decide you fix it and that's not really how you fix because there's multiple ways and multiple issues 
Um, so hopefully, if everything goes right, right, I am hoping that if your motherboard has problems, you're in bad shape, son. Bad shape, because that means you got to take everything off. So you better hope it's the GPU that not, that's not turning on, like for me, or that your power supply is just that. That'd be the probably that's the hardest to detect the power supply, but that usually comes from not being able to power on the whole system. But it rarely happens when maybe you're not getting enough power outage through the connector pins in your graphics card. That's more rare. And the CPU is even more rare. So usually it's usually the GPU and motherboard. Which, with the motherboard completely failing, I can't give you a percentage how often that is, but it happens. But anyway, guys, please leave a comment in the section if you need help with anything. I will gladly do my best to help you. And I will see you guys next time. Hope I help some people out. See ya.